and they put the final things together on the structure of DNA. So they put the model together and fit all the pieces uh, to the puzzle and uh, came up with a model that they it was so beautiful, it had to be true. And not only that, but they also saw that there was this base pairing, which immediately lended itself, since they were looking for a code, that this may be the actual copying mechanism for life. So it's been locked away for 50 years, and I, <laughs> I only got to see it uh, for the first time yesterday. So um, the family didn't want to keep it locked up. Uh, so you know there was a lot of discussion about what exactly should be done, and what we decided was is to put it up for auction. We want it to be well looked after. And then our hope is, is that it will be put on display for the public so they'll lend it out and it can inspire the next generation of scientists. You know, this, was, this one was near impossible to, to estimate because there really is nothing else like it in the world. I mean, sure, there are other Nobel medals, but none awarded, awarded for, for DNA. Um, so we estimated it, we estimate that it's going to sell anywhere from 500,000 and up. And, and what that up means, we, we have no idea.